کلیئر وما کان لمومن ان یقتل مومنا الا خطا and it is not becoming not appropriate for a momin to kill a momin momin will never kill a momin illa khata except by mistake he was aiming at something else but you know the bullet it went to some muslim and momin you know and he was killed and in the same way you know an accident you don't want to kill a person but if some person is you know you know crashed under the, under the wheels of your car so all these things are this قتل خطا it is called murder by mistake wa ma kana lil mu'minin an yaqtula mu'minan illa khata a mu'min it is not it behoves it behoves not a mu'min that he may kill a mu'min illa khata except by mistake now what happens if you have killed by mistake a mu'min now there are three conditions wa man qatala mu'minan khata'an whosoever kills a mu'min a real true muslim by mistake fa tahrir wa raqabatin mu'mina now he has to set free a mu'min slave number 1 this is the fine which allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has levied on him he had to if he is a slave muslim slave he will ha- have to set him free if he doesn't have he will have to purchase one and set him free tahrir wa raqabatin mu'mina number 1 wa diyatun musallamatun ilayhi and the blood money will have to be paid to the to the to the family of the person who was killed so two things you have killed a person by mistake you have to pay the blood money to the family of the person number one and in addition this is actually the compensation that you are giving to the family because they have lost a member but you know because this is a sin although you were you didn't aim at it but it has happened at your hands so you have to set free a mu'min from the bondage of slavery illa an yasaddaqu except if the family people they forego that money as arm and charity you know we don't require because you didn't kill willfully you didn't want to kill our person to murder our person it was a mistake we you know absolve you of that responsibility we don't ac- accept this this blood money and we give it to you back as a charity illa an yasaddaqu this is one form wa in kana min qaumin aduwwil lakum and if that person belong to a tribe which is your enemy he is him muslim he was a mu'min you have killed him by mistake but he belong to a tribe which is in enmity against muslims now what to do will you pay the blood money no now one thing is gone because the family is kafir you are not going to pay to them the blood money but that what is the about the origin in kana min qaumin aduwwi lakum wa huwa mu'min fa tahrir wa raqabatin mu'mina only setting free of a mu'min slave will suffice no payment of the blood money because he belonged to a tribe which is kafir now the third condition wa in kana min qaumin bainakum wa bainahum misaq if he belong to a tribe between whom and you there is a treaty fadiyatul musallamatun ila ahlihi wa tahriru raqabatin mu'mina he will be treated as a mu'min and as the first case you have to pay the blood money to his family because although it is kafir but you had a misaq with them although they are unbelievers the tribe is unbelievers but you had a treaty with them so you have to pay the blood money to the family of the deceased and also you have to set free a mu'min slave faman lam yajid but whosoever cannot afford it what to do now this is kafara what to do i don't have money to purchase a, a, a uh, slave and then set him free fa tahri fa fa wal lam yajid fa siyam aur shahrain mutatabi'in he will have to keep fasting for two continuous months 60 days continuous tauba tam min allah this is a tauba prescribed by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you know although he did not intend to kill him but because you know human life is so precious now what is the wisdom behind it because of this law now you will be extra careful if this law is there you will be extra careful that you don't kill a muslim or a mu'min even by mistake but if this law is not there you may be more carefree 
to make you more careful that this is the condition this is these are the hudud these are the tazirat tawbah min allah wa kana allah aliman hakima in allah sala knows everything he is ever knowing all wise wa man yaqtul mu'minan mutamadan now willful killing or slaying of a mu'min whosoever kills a mu'min willfully fa jazahu jahannam khalidan fiha his reward his recompense is the hell in which he will abide forever this is the importance you know and how you know trivial matter today the muslims think is killing muslims killing muslims when allah says wa may yaqtul mu'minan mutaammidan fa jazahu jahannam khalidan fiha khulud forever wa ghadab allah alayhi and allah will have his wrath on him he will have the wrath of allah wa lanahu and allah will curse him wa adda lahu azaban azima and allah has prepared for him a very big punishment and chastisement now this is the importance as we read yes last night two things are fundamentals for human society respect for the life human life and respect for property if you know respect for life goes the foundation of the so social order is crumbles and if respect for each other's money each other's wealth and belongings is not there it will be all chaos no contentment no peace in the society so these two things are very fundamental